Okay, now let's go into, let's talk about empty real quick. Let's just put it, put it out like this way. So they line up in true empty. True empty meaning there are five guys aligned out of the core. And so the Mike linebacker is over here aligned to the back. And we cover down the same way we would if it was a, a, a one back set. So it's really no different, guys, because what you're going to get in, in empty are a lot of bubbles, a lot of quarterback run, that type of thing. Okay, so who's in the fit if they align like that? Because this really is our tailback now. The quarterback is a tailback, and there's still open gap, B gap. There's still going to be two open, open gaps inside. So who's in the run fit? It's always the first two guys removed. So in this case, it's the Mike and the Will. If it were matching up and they put the tailback outside and we were in some kind of matchup defense, it would be the corner and the Will. Or if the corner was here, the safety and the Will. Or if we matched up across the board and we were going to run with this, it could be both safeties. But you still have to have two run fit guys involved for those two inside gaps if the quarterback was to run the football. Okay, let's talk about like what Ohio State does. Let's say they line up like that. That is still our tailback. So we put him in a six technique. Where would the will align? The will would align here. So let's say they align like that. It's still, they still created an extra gap over here. So it's still the nickel or the safety. One of those two guys, the Will linebacker, would have an inside gap over here. The Mike linebacker would have an inside gap over here. Go back to true empty. We still have two guys in the fit. The Mike and the Will. And we get bubble on both sides or a quick screen on both sides. So let's say on this side we got two we got a quick screen. And on this side we got a bubble. We still have two guys to relate to these two guys over here. And we still have one, two, three guys to relate to these three guys over here. So how do I play that and relate to, even if we got a bubble on that side, how do I play the bubble and my run fit? Well, your run fit always overrules what's happening with the, with the screen. In essence, I have to key that quarterback through long enough. He's going to take me. I always have to hold if I'm part of the run fit, meaning... If I get bubble, I cannot chase the bubble. I can't chase the bubble or the quick screen on this side. I have to clear the run first. So if I get a bubble out here and a bubble out here, I have to let that guy take me to my coverage. So if he stands up and he looks this way, I wait till that ball is thrown before I react to the bubble. Same on this side. These guys here can be aggressive. These two guys here have to be patient and make sure they clear their gap before they react to their run fit, or before they react to their coverage. Play your run fit first. Understand that you guys have run responsibility first. You've got to take care of that responsibility first. So let's say that the Mike linebacker, we said, you're not in the run fit. You can go ahead and chase the bubble. That would put the safety, has to hold with flat feet and make sure if that guy pumps it and now runs a quarterback draw, I got to rock and roll and I got to get in my gap. Okay? So, taking it to another step, let's put you in slot trips. Okay, let's put the tailback out here, something like that. 
because this is one that we'll see during the year for sure. So we're aligned will, nickel, corner, safety. So the corners matched up out here, and we have a safety and a mic right here. Because people like to run the football to a tight end side. So let's say we get a guard pole here, a bubble here. Who's in the run fit? The mic's in his inside gap here. He's relating to the tight end. The safety, in essence, is the force player. And we have an extra run fit there. But if the will wants so if they pull that guard and they run quarterback power or quarterback counter, and this will linebacker chases a bubble, we're not going to have enough guys in the run fit. So as that guy, guard, even with the guard goes, I just hold that if he goes, I go. So it would be here, he comes around, I'm inside, I'm outside, I'm cut back. If this guard pulls and the quarterback stands up and throws a bubble, I hold, I rally late. But I have to clear my run fit first. We always have to handle our run gaps first. Let the quarterback take us to where he wants to take us because it will happen very quickly. So it doesn't really mean, matter, fellas, regardless of how they line up, whether it's a one-back set, a two-back set, a Y-off set, an empty set, we are always going to have guys that are responsible for run gaps no matter how they align. And you have to understand by formation who's in it and who's out of it. And so you have to understand by coverage who's in it and who's out of it. And we'll get into that more specifically as we get into coverages. That's final live.